Hey y'all, so I am going to explain some things to you with the router. Um, ours, again, is a little bit different than the one in the picture from the notes, but um, we're gonna get some of the basic parts. Um, it's not super huge that you know how to do this. Um, this was one of my favorite tools in high school, or actually middle school, and um, it's pretty simple to use can be a little scary just for the fact that you don't want to mess up using it because it's kind of a make or break thing um but it's not like scary use wise um so we're just going to talk about a couple things on here and then you'll be able to go ahead and read through the notes and then take your quiz or, well your safety test and then um i may possibly be making something with the router i haven't decided exactly yet but I will keep you guys updated if I do that. Um, and of course, you will be able to, um, you'll be learning some of the things that I'm doing in the shop once we get to that point. All right. So, with that being said, this is a router. Um, it is kind of heavy and it does require a bunch of pressure. But like I said, this one's a little bit different than I use, but middle school, me, was able to use this just fine. So we're gonna start with the back. Of course, you have a power cord. Um, you have your power strain reliever, just like everything else. Um, we're gonna look at this side. So I don't, I think you can see this. Um, this right here is a micrometer depth adjuster. It just basically adjusts the depth of the, um, how deep your, um, bit is going i couldn't think of the word um and connected to that you have the guide knob um that actually or the actually yeah it locks it sorry um and then you have a locking handle um on the inside is the cullet chuck and then here is the base right here this is your base. Um, there is a motor motor disconnect on the inside as well. You can't really see it, um, potentially, right in here. Um, you have your handles. Um, the one in the picture only has one handle, it looks like, and then they use the guide knob, but we're not doing that. We're gonna use both handles because, again, this is heavy and does have a lot of force. Um, and you can see here, there is a trigger on here too. You have to be holding the trigger for it to work. Um, similar to a lot of power tools, you do have to hold that trigger because the trigger is what controls it. Um, we have our handle. Um, that's pretty much most of everything that the notes have. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, you do have your bit under here as well. I think you can see right there. If this were on, we definitely wouldn't be putting our fingers there, but we have a bit. You can change that bit out. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. You, when you turn it on, you hold this and you just maneuver it and cut out what you want. So it's kind of like, um, I'm sure most of you have seen a piece of wood that has like ridges cut out of it. That's basically what it would be. Um, when I was in school, I cut out a softball I had a circle that I cut out with a jigsaw and I took the router and we I routed out um the ribbons from the softball and then I routed out my initials in it if I can find that at home I will put you all a picture or I'll have it in my classroom for you all to see in the future um I don't remember what else other than I built picnic tables and I didn't use the router for that. But I hope that you guys found this um, kind of helpful to tie it all together. And I will talk to you later.